Hello, people. Finally, some machining. Today, my idea was to change the tires on my truck. So, yesterday I measured the diameter of the nuts of the wheels. And by tape measure, like this, I measured 32 millimeters. And I was sure that that was gonna be okay, but today, when I bought a 32 millimeter socket, it didn't fit, of course. <laughs> and then I checked it with with my caliper, and it showed a little under 33. So I'm thinking maybe it's an English size or an American size in inches, but. So, this socket doesn't fit. Then I thought, what the heck. It's been a long time since I've done any machining. And here I've got a project. So, I am making this socket from 32 to 33 millimeters. So, what I've done, I put it on the rotary table, on the chalk, and uh, I centered it on the axis of the rotary table and then I zeroed the end mill on the side of the socket and and by this axis I offset it by by half a millimeter so after I'm done it should be a little over 33 because it was originally a little over 32 so all of this makes no sense at all because I could have returned this one and and taken the 34 millimeter maybe I don't know there might not be a 33 millimeter socket so maybe this is a good way a 34 millimeter would have also been okay, I think. Well, I decided to do it this way because I like it. <laughs> so, I've got one of the six sides to do. And let me show you that. And yes, this mill is leaking a lot of oil from the main oil seal. During this winter, this machine will see some, some refurbishing work too. As you can see, the paint is just terrible. Well, if there is any paint left. It's been like this for a long time. Maybe when I'm using this mill a lot, I need to add some oil, maybe once in a month. So it's not that bad. And when I turn the machine on, it doesn't leak so bad anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Let's start. And I'm gonna start because I just finished that side right there. And by the way, I'm using a an 8mm solid carbide end mill. Which is required for this material because it's very hard. I think a high speed, high speed, what it's called, high speed steel, I think, uh, end mill would not be tough enough for this material. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna move it away a little so I can turn the table and it now shows 50 degrees and because its turn is 60 degrees it's gonna be 350 I think going this way 0 is 50 degrees and 350 is 60 degrees and here we go lock the table turn the power on move the table 
first this side and then to the other side a little more this is mostly just eyeballing and then I set this at zero It is now milling the pot. And here we are at zero. Some cutting oil. And for the last cut, I am using manual feed. And feeding quite slow because the speed is also slow. I think it should be faster. I am feeding quite slow. And here we have it. Okay, let's take it off the chalk and see what it looks like. If I can, yes, I can. Some cranking. Some more cranking. And here we go. There's a lot of chips. Let me take them away. Here we have it. Looking good. Let's see if it fits. It's very dark already. Maybe I will still change. Maybe two tires. Let's see, but let's first see if it fits. Let me tell you, this is maybe the best fitting socket I have ever had. Just very little play. Doesn't even fit every way. Very tight. Maybe a little too tight even. Also these nuts are old and worn and beaten. So they are not all the same size. Perfect. I'm very satisfied with this. I can barely get it out again. So, a little machining again. Thank you for watching and have a nice evening.